everyone, so today I am doing a makeup tutorial slash chit chat get ready with me, I don't know. I am doing a first impression at the moment on the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation, whatever. I will link it down below for you. I've been meaning to do this for so long. <laughs> so far, so good. It's looking incredible, look at that. So today I think I'm just going to start with my eye makeup. Okay, I've just looked at your request and people are saying cut crease. Thing is, with my eyes, they're such crooked shapes. If you look at them, they're both very different. Cat creases always look weird on me, but I'll do my best. And I think I might do some gold because I haven't done gold in a long time, like proper gold, maybe called glitter, I don't know. All right, I'm taking a firm blender brush and I'm going in with my cool toned eyeshadows today, I think. I'm gonna start with Anastasia Beverly Hills Stone, which looks like this. It's like a really light taupe color, grayish taupe. Wait, I should be priming my eyes. This is Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. I'm just going to put that on top. Should be alright. I'm actually going to take a skin tone um, eyeshadow colour and just set my brow bone area where I'm going to be blending the crease. This is Nude by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And yeah, I'm putting that on the brow bone just to help conceal and in the crease where I'm going to be applying these colours. So the crease upwards is set now. Now let's go back in with stone. Just tracing that crease, kind of going above the crease because I'm gonna go down with some darker colors as well. Next I'm going in with wedge. It's slightly darker. This is by MAC. Next I'm going to take a short shadow brush to do the darker color through the crease. I'm gonna do the shade Ash Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a really nice rich kind of chocolatey brown I guess. I applied it like this and then I'm flipping my brush upside down. And I'm just kind of going into like most of the way I guess. It's so hard getting my eyes symmetrical. And then I'm going to mix this color with the Wedge Was It by MAC, I think. And then this is a pencil brush. I'm just going to kind of bring that line up a little. And then I'm gonna go back and start blending that line. If you get it underneath, don't worry too much because I'm going to use a paint pot to clean that line up after. You just want to make sure that the top of the line is well blended. Don't worry about the bottom because the bottom's supposed to be sharp. Now I'm going in with MAC Painterly Paint Pot and another short shadow brush. And just focus on getting a nice sharp line. Alright, so we've got that done. As you can see, my eyelids are completely different shapes, so when I've got my eyes open, it looks kind of weird. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing an alright job though this time. Maybe I'm getting better. I don't know. I'm taking this colour Bone on my short shader again and just packing that right on that clean line. This brush. It's just so magical. I recommend them to everyone. They're good for eyeshadow, stuff like this, like carving out lines, lower lash line, oh, upper lash line, brow bone, inner corner, like everything. For the gold, I'm doing glitter and I'm going to mix together these two glitters. So this one is Goldie by Violet Boss and then this one is Lip Cosmetics Liberace Solid Size 4. Once again, I'm going to use my little short shadow brush. I just tipped my glitter everywhere. So I've just squashed both the glitters on here and oh god, it's gonna go everywhere, isn't it? I've got to try and get a really sharp line with this glitter. I think what I'll do is I'll go back in with Painterly and just like eyeliner a line of it, like right across. I'm gonna use a lip brush because it's like the perfect thickness and then Painterly again. Then with my short shadow, I'm going in with that really bright gold. This is called Fortune Teller by Makeup Geek. It's amazing. Should really just use this as a base, but I didn't think of that. I'm just going to kind of apply that on top of the glitter just to define that line. Okay, and then I think we will finish off the eye makeup later. Actually, before I do my concealer, I will do my winged eyeliner so I can clean it up if I need to. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. For concealer, I'm going to try this out. I bought it recently. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in the shade L7 Warm. Lately, I've been obsessed with the tapered face brush to blend out my concealer, so I'm going to do that. Just 
being careful up next to that eye makeup. This concealer is very good coverage. It's quite thick. Works well though. Look at that. Here's some Benefit Well Rested under my eyes. I swear I've like lost all my brushes. I don't know where they all are. It's really weird. Maybe I've like packed them in a suitcase somewhere. <laughs> this is a Shimmer Chilla brush and I'm just applying a soft layer of that just to set the concealer. I'm using this Stila Illuminating Powder and this is in the shade 10 Watts I think. I haven't used this in so long. I definitely think this foundation has oxidized. So before I do the rest of my base, like my contouring and blush and everything, I'm just going to finish off at the eyeshadow. I'm going to take the Ash Brown. And on that very outer edge, I'm going to take Deep Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So you can only see it when I tilt my head back, because if I just go like that, it just looks like... Nothing. Now I'm going to go back in with Ash Brown and it's on a pencil brush and I think I'm going to go quite heavy under the eyes today. Bringing it all the way across. Now I'm using MAC Graph Black Technical. Now I'm using Vanilla by Anastasia Beverly Hills again on a tapered eye brush and just highlighting that top part of my brow bone. And then right on that inner corner, I'm going to try putting some of this Metallics eyeshadow by Australis. And this is in the shade Pearl Jammin. For the brows, I'm going to use my Dirty Blonde and my Brow Groomer brush. It is all of a sudden bucketing down with rain and I just got bad news. My family member in hospital, they were supposed to be getting surgery today, but it's been pushed to Monday now. Today's Friday, which I mean, it's not bad, bad news, but it's just like a pain in the ass. <laughs> I just want them to get better. I've been waiting for so long because there's just been a million complications and health issues that have popped up, which has prevented the surgery from happening that my family member went into hospital for and we don't really know what's in there as well like they need to do some like biopsy and tests and stuff um to figure out what it is so we just want it done so hard man i just have never had to deal with this before in my life my thoughts go out to everyone out there dealing with similar stuff like hospital and health and stuff it's just so hard i've been so lucky that most of my family well, when I was little there was issues, but obviously I was little, so my family didn't really tell me about it, but in my adult life I've been quite lucky, like my family overall has been quite healthy and like nothing really wrong. Now all of a sudden, it's just rough. I'm just trying to stay positive though, just trying to, you know, do my thing, get back into a daily routine for a long time. I was just in hospital all day, which is still important, but it's also important that I kind of just you know, stick to normality and stick with my routine and stuff to make myself feel a little bit more happy. So we go in a hospital every day though, because it's important and I want to be there. But just trying to get some like filming done and I did a vlog yesterday and just stuff like that. Like just trying to do those little things in between just, I don't know. All right, now I'm going to use Gimme Brow. I think my new Gimme Brow with the silver packaging is in my suitcase still. So I'm gonna use my old one. Oh, first I'm just gonna put on some Revital Lash. Okay, I went into my suitcase and got my makeup bag because I could not find my Gibby brow anywhere. This is in shade 3. My eyebrows are definitely a little bit too warm for me today. So I should, probably shouldn't have used that MAC Dirty Blonde, but I love it. So whatever. Let's just pretend my eyebrows match. Today I'm going to use my lashes in the Soulmate. They are my favourite pair. I love these. But first I'm going to use the Lightning Liner by Kat Von D in Gold. G O U. LD and I'm going to sharpen that top line. And for the lashes, I'm using the Duo Latex Free Glue, which is my current favorite. I just realized I have dinner out with friends tonight, so my makeup is going to look so intense. <laughs> and then for my mascara set, I'm using the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. Okay, so now let's contour. I'm going to use my Shade and Light palette because it's right here. <laughs> that was a contour fan brush. Now I'm using a face definer as well. 
Now I'm using this Three Concept Eyes Blush. I've used this quite a bit lately. This is BB Pink. Okay, highlighter. I'm gonna use Bling Peach by Three Concept Eyes. It looks like this. And then the last step is the lips. I'm going to use this Ofra Lip Liner in Nude and then the OCC Ready to Wear in Femme. And that is the completed look. I think I did okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Sorry about my hair. Like, I just cannot... I, uh, I just don't know what I'm doing with my hair these days. I do not want to cut it off. I'm growing it long. I just don't know what to do with these front bits. Like, they're just like hanging on my face all the time. I don't know. I need to like curl it or something, I think. But yeah, that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, make sure you check out some more of my videos. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Bye!